It's a little bit different down here. I'm in the basement. It's super late at night, so dark, so the lighting is completely off from my normal thing routine. I also have a bit of a different share for you guys today. I normally share with you mostly Dollar Tree hauls and Dollarama hauls, but I thought I would share with you some of the things that I have been buying for the house, for Christmas gifts, uh, for home decor. So I did go to Marshalls and HomeSense. I hadn't been in over half a year. I know it sounds kind of crazy and we've all been out of our routines, but that's a really long time for someone who's a bit of a shopaholic as myself. And those stores are not available to shop online because they are a bit of a, a deal hunting type of store where they have name brand items and all of those things at a discount price. So anyways, today's haul is a bit of a mix of a Marshalls haul, um, home things and, uh, and home decor, I guess, but nothing like major. I uh, purchased a couple new tablecloths and I'm actually happy that I bought the 102 inches and I think I should have actually bought one more. If I can buy 120 inch one, that will be probably my next find. But the this one here has like a glittery thread. I'm not sure if it's coming through on screen and if not, then I'll film it during the day so that at least when I edit it and you guys can see what the thread looks like. It's a very... Christmassy feel if if anything or um, I like to use it as every day the current one that I have has gold speckling in it and I actually really love using a sparkly tablecloth any time of the year it doesn't have to just be for Christmas but this one has silver and white threading in it and it's quite pretty and these here ran for this one ran for $24.99 and it's made by Laura Ashley and it seats six to 10 people at my table, both my tables, my dining room and my kitchen table are rectangular. So this is a rectangular tablecloth and they had some round ones. Yeah, round. And this one here does have 120 seat. I like when they tell you, this one doesn't tell you on the back what other sizes they're going to be, but this one does. It shares with you the three different sizes that are available in the tablecloth sizing. This one was $24.99 as well and it's made by Soho Living and it seats as well. This one's 80% cotton, 20% polyester. This, the other one was 100% polyester. The reason I love this one is it looks kind of like my, this is quite similar to the way my chairs are. They don't know how to explain it, but this looks a lot like the chairs that are in my kitchen. So I thought this would look really pretty. However, my chairs are a, light, a lighter color. They're more on, on I guess a white pulling more on white undertones and beige not quite beige but if you know what I mean a lighter gray I would say so this will be a nice accent I think for my table but yeah this one was uh, 60 by 102 as well Soho living set of 12 napkins these are typically only found around this time of year at our local stores they don't normally stock these year-round so uh, I currently have some napkins but I like to have, I always like to have cloth napkins and so these are a pack of 12 for $19.99 and I think that's a very reasonable price because sometimes I'll find them at other locations and they'll be a little more expensive or the sets will only be 6 or 8 So for $20 for 12 I can justify these 100% um, cotton and they're a white which makes it easy if you know you have sauce or anything like that and you need to bleach these bleach really nicely anyways how are you guys all doing I'm like it's so evening for me and this is totally out of my normal routine I feel a little bit out of uh, I feel like I'm doing this all over or it's like new for me but and also it's a different type of haul usually I'm in my chair and I have my Dollar Tree goodies and today this is just a little bit different and I thought it'd be fun to share with you actually you probably see a lot of the vases or vases that are on vases that are on my display here it's a three a four layered bookshelf unit and it's not really a bookshelf but you know unit display and these some of them have been purchased at HomeSense and Marshalls and then Sears when they were closing I purchased some fun pieces at Sears as well oh and there's some from Pier 1 too and Pier 1's finally closed as well which made me sad this is a beautiful beautiful gold detailed it's just a dish 
you can use it to serve things on and also you can um, use it to I'll put some candles on it and some pine cones and some berries and stuff I think for Christmas because it just has that really Christmas feel for me and this here was $12.99 it's just a simple plate and then I was I wanted to buy the entire store if you watched my shop with me seriously there were so many cute finds it was really hard to hold back i don't know if you guys are on the red truck theme or the gnome theme this year or maybe just christmas trees or lanterns is there a theme that you kind of have happening in your house or blues or whites or a rustic or like vintage what are you doing or whimsical for christmas this year i do have some different parts of the house like down here in the basement will be more rustic and then um, another part of the house will be more classic then I have a very winter like the winter wonderland look with the flock tree so anyways I have a few themes and I really hope to get filming on those as well as soon as no um, November 11th is the day we celebrate Remembrance Day as soon as that passes I always like to acknowledge that without any Christmas decor I will start to put out my Christmas decorations my husband is ready right now he was asking me this week he's like do you think you'll put the Christmas decorations up I'm like we haven't even gone through Halloween and he's like, oh, but I can't wait till you put all the trees up. I have so many trees. And he's like, I just love the white light. So he's like wanting me to, you know, start preparing the house for Christmas. I'm like, no, not yet, not yet. So I've been like, ah, usually it's the other way around. The women are ready to decorate their homes and their husbands are like, wow, what do you mean decorate for Christmas? But anyways, I was so, so good. But there were so many items up for Christmas on display. And the thing with Home Sense and Marshalls is if you do not purchase when you see them then that's go that's going to be it right so there's um this was 19.99 and it's a ceramic tree it's absolutely gorgeous it's all white and it is ceramic and it just oh, i just love it it's smaller ones this looks like it oh it's just glitter they had a taller one and then they had like a medium sized one I'd say so if you wanted to display them and make like a little display in your house it would look gorgeous but I didn't buy the other similar one I like to have texture so if there's something that's flat then I like to have something that kind of pops in and out so that it gives it some texture and this one here was $9.99 so I'm thinking I can put these two together somewhere but I also bought oh my gosh so cute I don't know if you guys are gonna love them I am obsessed with these little guys I can't stop looking at them and brushing their little beards how sweet this little guy was $9.99 he's got little like brown boots not the typical round you know like the big poofy gnome shoes but they're just flat little pat paddle looking shoes He's got the cutest little detail with suspenders. Like, whoever designed these did such a magnificent job. I've made my own gnomes, but like this is like serious stitching detail and everything. And then I was playing with him and my little dog got jealous. He thought he was actually a real little, I don't know, little guy or something. And I was playing with him and pulling his little mustache and making it all cute. And he was like grumbling at me from below. He's like, because this guy was a little bit higher up on a, on a table. And he's like, pay attention to me. You're paying attention to those little dudes. I don't know what those are. But isn't this beautiful? Even the little pom-pom. The detail on these guys is just, is just wonderful. So there is that little dude. And then this little guy. And I just love them. And they match my, my furniture is gray down here. And then I have like some, you know, gray kind of like a rusty kind of a rustic looking pillow kind of the sim similar uh textured stuff going on down here so I really am happy I feel like these little guys are like my little, my little babies and then this little guy has like more of a gingham type pattern or blue oh, what is it called hound tooth as his little hat and he's got this fur trim this guy doesn't and his little beard and he's a chubby little guy too and they're weighted so you can use them as little door stoppers but his he's got little feet this little guy this one doesn't but they're so so freaking cute and this guy was um, $9.99 as well just so stinking cute I love them they had red ones as well but I went with the gray because I just think it'll match my home decor a little better I was also happy to find a little something for Halloween 
So this bowl was actually on clearance for $6. It was originally $18, went to $12.99, and then it sold for $6. It was on clearance. And it's made by Mugshots Halloween. And I just absolutely love the detail. It's just so perfectly done. It has the little skeleton heads and the spiders and the little booze. There's a witch hat in there. And it's a nice fair size. So like you can put some chips out or whatever you'd like to put out in it. It would just it it's just such a beautiful bowl. I'm happy to have found that as well. They had different patterns. They had some with little pumpkins on them. But I love the black and white. She's very classic. I also have been searching if you guys follow me with my Dollar Tree and my Dollarama shops. I've been looking for martini glasses in the German brand of glassware that I found actually for the bar down here. And I found the little, like these tiny little glasses, the little glassware that's almost for like a brandy or a drinking of some sort of, I wouldn't say shop, but like a liqueur, a sweet liqueur or something that's fancy and you're just drinking a little bit at a time. And I kept searching in hopes that they would have like a martini set or something, a pack of two, but even if they did, and I put paid $4 for two glasses, it's still like, wouldn't be the best price either. But I've been searching and this time of year is the time if you need to buy like champagne glasses, martini glasses, wine glasses. Costco has a lot of wine glasses for a really great price, but then HomeSense slash Marshalls, they have they have um, these big box sets. And then you can pick what you like because they have so many different brands. This one here is the Crystal Light Bohemia. And I think I've had really good luck with the Crystal Light Bohemia in the past. And this one, this box is $16.99. There are only six glasses in here. I was really happy with the quality. And always just be careful. Like when you're buying glassware, I'm very picky about my, my martini glasses. They have to be very light. They have to be, they can't be a thick trimmed uh, glassware. I just, when my husband and I have martini, I'm very particular about the glass, glassware we have. And unfortunately, unfortunately, because I like the very thin glassware, uh, what happens is they break sometimes. Uh, hot water, cold water combination will crack them or they hit something and that's it, they're done. So I'm very... Uh, a careful when I'm picking out glassware at these stores make sure that they're not broken or chipped or your stem is not broken the worst thing is getting home and coming home to a broken glass and then I don't know if they exchange it or not I'm not sure what happens in that case uh, and make sure that the glassware before you ever you know when you're washing them that they don't have any chips or anything because that's the last thing you want is um, to cut your lips but yeah I'm really happy with these again I'm kind of particular the ones from Dollarama and Dollar Tree just are way too heavy and thick for me so I've never purchased even when I just grab them in the store sometimes when I'm sharing them with you guys I just never um, purchase them just because I I am picky about the glassware anyways any fun finds for you guys out at Marshalls or HomeSense I am um, I'm going to run in again and hopefully buy a couple more Christmas items that I held off from purchasing this round and then I look forward to sharing a haul with you guys I also went to Costco so I have a Costco haul to share with you which I think I'm gonna film as well um, and I'm gonna see how the lighting worked out in this video and if it didn't turn out very good then I'll save it for a day daytime film but things have been a little bit the days are starting to get a lot shorter and the days are so busy so sometimes just finding the time to film might just be ended up at night time I hope you guys enjoyed this little haul and if you like these types of videos give me a thumbs up or a like please and or subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free so you can see more of the goodies that I find and share with you guys until next time everyone have a wonderful I will say a wonderful day a wonderful night a wonderful evening because now that I'm filming in the evening or late at night it's kind of weird that I say have a wonderful day but anyways that's the case anywhere in the world till next time bye everyone